What up, FBL Squad? It's me, Jacquez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Okay, happy Wednesday, everybody. Listen, we are having this beautiful slab of ribs. Oh my gosh, if y'all can only smell it. If you can only smell it. Let me see if you can get a whiff. Can you get a whiff of that? Can you? Do you feel what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying now? Oh. And then we have some delicious steamed broccoli in the back. And then we have some corn on the cob. Y'all been asking for it. And then on the side, we have some macaroni and cheese. And we have some sauce back here in the back. Also, we're going to say our prayers. And we're going to get into this food. Amen. But first, before we start, you guys. I, um, I want to send my prayers out to... Give me one second. You guys, I want to send my prayers out to Wanda Fickling. I don't want to... Uh, discuss the the matters of the message that you sent me but i do want you to know that you are in my prayers and all of those things my family and i are praying for you and um i thank you for reaching out to me and all of that stuff and and relaying your message to me and all of that and um you know you are in my prayers and stay blessed stay up and you know i'm here for you all right you guys let's get into this oh i'm so excited and we got Susie and junior in the back we got some coca-cola on deck Cheers to you guys. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. That is so rude of me. So rude. Oh, I ain't had Coca-Cola in so long. All right. I want to get to this first. I want to attack this thing. I want to attack it. Ooh. I need to move some of this stuff out the way. This is going to be bad. Let me just put this over here. Inside my... Okay. I want to attack this thing so bad. Um, it's hot. <laughs> Duh. I feel like there's so many things just in the way. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Oh. I'm trying not to make it splash everywhere. Y'all do, I want to talk about something today, but this is so good. I need a minute. Mm. Screw this. <laughs> Screw this. Mm. Hot. Mm, mm -mm. Uh-oh. 
Y'all don't mind if I get savage on this thing, do you? It's too hot for me to try to sit and break apart. So I gotta eat it like this. Like I said, mm. happy Wednesday to you guys. Smack that middle in the in the middle of the week. Cause I'm here with y'all Enjoying this Beautiful slap of ribs with y'all mm. Why uh, Now this is fresh Okay y'all but I, I made this I couldn't grill it Because of course It's freezing outside Which made me think about I should have got one of those. I should buy one of those indoor grills or whatever you call them for inside. But anyway, I have to put this inside in the oven. Let it sit in there. And it's still amazing. Still amazing. Let me get off that. Yes, sir. Sound like macaroni. Mm. So ooey and gooey.
Keep telling y'all, I'm going to make a good husband one day. Keep telling y'all. All right, let's get to this giant back here. This giant back here. I know y'all be waiting to see me eat this corn. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let me get it nice and good back here. Nice and stopped up. Nice and stopped up. Mmm. <clears throat> I don't need to come up for air. I don't. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Amazing. Amazing. Y'all, if it looks extra bright, it's because we had some extra lights going on and I tried to adjust them but I wanted to make sure that you guys saw everything so I'm scared to do anything <laughs> I'm scared to move anything oh um, I don't know what I should do because I feel like they're really bright let me see something real quick give me one second y'all <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Okay. Alright, I'll let him know. Alright. <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to do this corn right. I'm going to leave that corn for a little bit later, for a little bit later. Cause I got something to talk about y'all. I got something to talk about. Listen, uh-uh, uh-uh, just hold on. Okay, let's get back to this. Cause this thing was playing with me. Mm. And I don't wanna I'm scared it's gonna fly everywhere, y'all. I mean, you got that sweet, but tangy.
So good. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. I need some clarification on something. Tunnel vision. Okay? When you're focused in life, how it affects people on the outside looking in. Okay? So, I just want to speak from my perspective. And I want y'all's advice on this. Okay? So, leave the comments down there and let me know. What what's what? Cause maybe I'm not making much sense of it because it's me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, this past year, you know, I started this YouTube thing in April, and it's been my focus since then. You know, because I would say you know for the past three years prior, I was letting a lot of people. Um, steer me away from the things that I needed to accomplish in my life. Things that I wanted to accomplish in my life, I was allowing people to to take me away from that. You know, whether it being like being in relationships or attempting to be in a relationship or some friends be wanting to like go out every night of every day, you know, and all that stuff. And I'm just like, you know, I fell into that trap for a long time. And then I got to a place where I was kind of like, um, I was mentally drained, you know what I'm saying? Because I started to realize that I wasn't accomplishing the things that I wanted to accomplish. And with that, it kind of took toll on me physically. And I don't know, it was just it just messed me up for a little bit of time and all that stuff. So now I finally got to this place where I'm completely focused. My vision is directly set on this goal and all of those things and other things that I'm just trying to accomplish outside of YouTube. But it seems to be a problem with people. Okay? And for some reason, I get into this mindset of thinking like, man, maybe I could make a little bit of time for so-and-so and so-and-so. You know, maybe I could, you know, get myself on a schedule and figure out how to, you know, work that, you know, my social life into this thing but see what what they fail to understand is this youtube thing is 24 8 and not 24 7 it's 24 8 maybe a little bit more than that and i don't think they completely understand that because a lot of them are working nine to five jobs i don't do that <laughs> i don't do that so i you know i can't like i can't relate with that and you know i'll just use this one situation for instance i've been you know been trying to like date or whatever the case may be I've been trying to date, I'm going on little dates here and there, whatever, and my focus is not completely on that. I feel like it shouldn't take much for me to to like be involved with someone or trying to be involved with someone and also do my job. Um, but I always tend, I always tend to always just be like, "What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What I need to do next? What what can I do to 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 you know enhance?" what it is that I'm trying to do, what can I do, you know, my mind is always there, it's not necessarily on dating and all that stuff, I do want to be, you know, involved or whatever, but I don't, I don't want it to, I don't want it to be feeling like it's, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like it's forced, you know, I don't want to feel like it's like, you know, I have to, I have to, I want it to just be a smooth transition, work your way into all of this and all that stuff, and then we'll be good, but no, People want to take me away from doing what I need to do. I don't like that. I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't. And I'm a verbal person, you know, and I, I'm not afraid to express it, whatever it is that's on my mind.
this corn thing is very serious to me. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. You know, I'm not afraid to express exactly what's on my mind. And I understand that sometimes it could come off a little harsh. But I don't mean it that way. I just need for you to understand exactly where I'm coming from so I don't mince my words. And, um, you know, I was uh, I was verbally attacked for that. <laughs> well, in my opinion, I was verbally attacked because, you know, it was told to me that um, you'll never, ever, you'll never, ever find the person that you're looking for if you don't know how to um, make both your, your career and all of that other stuff, you know, in your relationship life. If you don't know how to put the two together and make them coexist, You'll never ever find that. And I'll be like, I don't really care about that right now. I honestly feel like if if it's meant to be, it'll just happen naturally. It'll just be a smooth transition, you know? If the vibes are right, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> if the vibes are right, then it'll just, you know, it would naturally happen. I don't have to feel like I have to decide between the two, you know? And that's just not, it hasn't been the case. So... You know, I just I just said, hey, that, if I have to choose between the two, then this would be the thing that I choose right now. And if that person, that individual comes into my life and decides that, hey, you know, I'm going to just adjust with all of this stuff that you got going on because I see that it's something that you're very passionate about. I haven't gotten that yet. It's like they just want to completely take me away from exactly what I'm doing. I'm not here for that. I'm not, no, 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 can't go, can't go. I cannot go. I've come this far, and I'm not going to allow anyone to distract me. I don't know what other way to put it. I don't know any other way to put it. But, hey. So you guys, tell me if I'm wrong for putting it to that person like that, or am I right for securing my future? Am I in the right mindset as far as saying like if if that if that individual could come into my life and they can accept all of this. And then that's another thing, too, because they be want to know exactly what I'm doing on YouTube. But I'm like, no, I can't do that. I can't tell you right now. Oh, I hate that. I hate when they come asking me, oh, what is it that you do on YouTube? Because just about everybody know what mukbanging is. So the minute that I say that, they'll be like, because I've had, you know, they'll be like, well, what's your channel name? Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh. I always say, well, if you find it, if you come across it yourself, then that's fine. But I'm never, ever going to give you <laughs> my channel's name. So you can judge me. It's not even really about the judgment part, y'all. But it's just like... Even though people know what mukbanging is, they just... Some people just still don't understand why you... Why do you want to... Why do you decide to sit in front of a camera and eat in front of people? They don't understand the whole dynamic behind it all. And I don't really have time to explain it. <laughs> I don't even necessarily feel like I have to explain it. I won't be distracted, y'all. I, I I refuse to allow that to happen again. I had to I've had to let people go, and I've had to literally threaten to beat people up in order for them to leave me alone. <laughs> that is so sad because I don't want to go that route, but I will if I have to. I absolutely will because it was like they don't understand. It's cool. 
You content with working your little nine to five. And not, it's nothing against that, y'all. It's nothing against that whatsoever. But people who, you know, who are content with that and, and making someone else rich, they don't understand all of this. They don't understand, like, what this entails, like, what comes with this. They don't understand that. I don't know what's so hard to understand about it, though. Becoming your own boss, please. Nothing beats that. <clears throat> mm. y'all think because i know i can trust y'all word you know y'all mess with the word real hard so i know i can trust y'all word oh <clears throat> this is all i can do first of all that was a big slab of rib <laughs> that was that's a really big slab of rib and i I don't know if it's almost like a half, I don't know, that I ate. It don't look like I did much, but I did. Woo, boy, I'm full. I'm about to get up out of here, you guys. <clears throat> like I said, let me know what what y'all think about this whole situation, okay? Because it really threw me for a loop. I don't know. All I know is I'm focused. My tunnel vision is dead spot on on what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I just sat and made a whole vision board. Of everything that I want to accomplish in 2020. And I'm on that path to accomplish those things. And no one is going to stop me from that. No one. No one another thing. And that's on me. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with another video. But in the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love us for real. <laughs> Peace.